Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza here at the Hatfield Public Library with a box of adult fiction and nonfiction. We're going to start with, ooh, it's a sweet little paperback called Strawberry Lane by Jody Thomas. This looks very pick upable. It says set in Someday Valley. It's the charming town of Honey Creek and it's about a romantic tale. Oh no. He drives his car off a cliff and straight into a life he never imagined. So romance. We have The Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune with a very intriguing cover. It looks like some sort of houses that are very high up in trees. This is, um, he wrote The House in the Cerulean Sea and a couple other books that have been popular. Um, it's sort of like fantasy um, with a lot of like sort of real life emotional stuff. Um, so this is about a grove of trees where three robots live and one human lives there too. So they're like a family. <laughs> We have Mark Cameron, Break, Net, Break Neck. This is an Arlise Cutter novel. Um, a da da da. Let's see, we're going to say, oh, a train ride into the Alaskan wilderness turns into a harrowing fight for survival. We have this book called The Society of Shame by Jane Roper. I like this cover. I like the colors. And then I like that it's a swan with glasses. And um, it's compared to Where'd You Go, Bernadette, which is a, a favorite of mine. And it's about a woman who, um, uh-oh, comes home to find her home on garage on fire, like actually on fire, and her husband in the front yard in his underwear. Um so he is a running for U.S. Senate, the husband, and he was having an affair with one of, um, gosh, gosh, this is like a lot of stuff to go through. So husband is running for Senate. Husband has an affair with young staffer. Garage lights on fire. Somewhere in the middle of this, someone takes a photo of her and she has a period menstrual stain on her pants, which leads to public humiliation and then an invitation to something called the society of shame where she reclaims herself and ascends to celebrity status oh my gosh i mean there's so much going on just in the blurb and i think that's just like the start so we have saved <laughs> a war reporter's mission to make it home by benjamin hall and this is about a um uh, someone uh, reporting in Kiev, sorry, Benjamin Hall reporting in Kiev, and um, he's been a journalist for Fox News. He volunteered to go there, and he is gravely injured, and um, this is the story about how he made it all out alive. Sounds like it was a very close and dangerous thing. We have What Happened to Ruth Ramirez uh, by Claire Jimenez, another cover that I love. Um, and this is about, um, oh no, it's about a family where the 13-year-old middle child disappeared without a trace. And then uh, 12 years later, the oldest sister spots her on a reality show, but like, can it really be her? Another nonfiction title. This is called Once Upon a Tome by Oliver Darkshire, and it's misadventures of a rare bookseller. I think a lot of people who come to the library are very interested in um, just books, you know, as artifacts. And so I think that this will appeal to them. We have uh, Icebreaker, Hannah Grace. I wasn't really familiar with this, but it's a New York Times bestseller and also um, has tons of holds on it. It's a cute little paperback uh, romance um, about the romance between a figure skater and a, um, and a hockey player. So they both skate, but different kinds of skates. Two more. We have Only the Beautiful with Susan Mesner, uh, who wrote The Nature of Fragile Things. California 1938, 
16-year-old Roseanne uh, loses her parents in an accident, accident taken in by the owners of a vineyard. And, um, but she has a secret, which is that she sees colors when she hears sounds. So she's a, I think it's called a synesthete. And uh, then uh, she ends up pregnant. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wait, there's a second timeline. Wait, at the bottom. The second timeline is Europe, 1947. Um, also, a woman also comes back and ends up at the vineyard. Last of all, Robert Dagoni, Her Deadly Game. Nice. I like that this is a paperback. Um, let's see. Seattle Prosecutor. Uh, relationship ends badly. Oh, she's a was a competitive chess prodigy. Um, she's trying to restore her family's reputation, her relationship with her father, and her career. So it's like courtroom drama with family life drama. That's it. That was my box. I'll be back soon with more. Bye.